Now to a crackdown on some popular herbal supplements. An investigation by the New York State Attorney General's Office alleges some store brands sold by four major retailers have misleading labels after tests found quality control issues. ABC's Tom Yamas is here with those details for us. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. Many of us take herbal supplements, but before you pop that pill today, you're going to want to watch this report. Some of the biggest retail chains in the U.S. are allegedly selling supplements that are missing key ingredients and could put you at risk. Americans spend billions every year on herbal supplements like ginseng, echinacea, and St. John's wort. But buyers beware. A New York State investigation alleging some store brand supplements sold by Walmart, Walgreens, Target, and GNC are, in its words, bogus. Nearly 80% of the state's test results found the store brand supplements tested did not contain what is listed on the label. In a good number of cases, there was no organic material in the product. In some cases, there was sand. New York's Attorney General Eric Schneiderman sending these cease and desist letters to the four retailers, demanding they pull the supplements from their shelves and provide additional information about the products tested. Is that dangerous? It is dangerous if there's something in there that you didn't expect and you're allergic to. The New York Attorney General's report says the store brands of Ginkgo Biloba and St. John's Wort at all four stores did not test positive for either herb. Walmart, Walgreens, and GNC's version of ginseng and echinacea also failed their ingredient tests. This morning, GNC says it stands by its products and that the kinds of tests used may not be appropriate for these herbal products. Walmart says it's reaching out to the suppliers and will take appropriate action. Target telling us it's committed to providing high quality and safe products. But Walgreens saying this morning it's in the process of removing these products as we review this matter further. New York's Attorney General stands by the report saying nearly 400 tests were done. If you do want to take herbal supplements, do some research online and on the brand and make sure an independent third party has tested.